the pattern that I'm tying today is what I call the wigged out ballyhoo. Now, ballyhoo are great baits. Uh, they look a little bit like a needlefish. Uh, but this particular fly we are designing for beach snook and for mackerel. The beauty of working with your long shank hook like this is that it leaves a little bit of extra metal out in front so you don't have to use a wire tippet. It'll keep you from getting cut off by the mackerel all the time. Um, this particular pattern is tied on a one knot. You can tie it on a short shank as well and tie it a little bit bigger and fuller. It's great for a barracuda. been using it for years down in the Keys for a barracuda during the off tides. Anyway, the color pattern that we're going to be tying today is different than that one. Um, we're going to do it in an olive and white. The hair that I'm using is a product called King Calon, or that's the 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 trade name. You also see it called Super Jumbo Braid. This stuff you can find it in the ethnic beauty supplies around your area. Uh, it's dirt cheap, and you get a heck of a lot of it. This is some of the blue. You know, good size package like this. This is 48 inches long, uh, total folded in half. Uh, cost you less than five bucks. Um, so it's a lot cheaper to work with than ultra hair. Um, and it's a little finer and got a little kink to it. It's, it's nice stuff and easy to work with. There's a couple of other things that I have to tell you about King Calon. It's tough on scissors. I'm using some Fiskars uh, instead of my normal fly tying scissors. This cuts it better and uh, doesn't damage your good fly tying scissors. Just a little word of warning. What we're going to do first is we're going to come about maybe a third of the way back on the hook and we're going to lay down some red thread. Now I want a good base of thread so I'm going to do this about three times. And using my good scissors, I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to whip finish this, excuse me a minute. Okay, we have our olive. Now I'm going to use some olive colored uh, uh, Flymaster Plus. This is the heavy stuff, the size A, the 230. And I'm going to come part of the way up on top of the, the red and I'm going to start laying back. And I'm going to get that good and covered so I'm going to go ahead and double back In case you're wondering, the mouth of a, a ballyhoo has a short top uh, mandible, and because of that, you get this little red mouth uh, where the lower jaw extends beyond the upper jaw. That's what that red's all about. Now, I'm going to again lay a good base of thread in. I want plenty. Okay, this is some white King Calon. Um, I'm taking a little less than a pencil, uh, like a real thin pencil diameter of this white King Calon. We're going to lay that in first. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it. And this synthetic doesn't squish down like bucktail and such. So you got to cut it at a slight angle so you can get your uh, get your uh, 
your taper down to the head and I'm going to bring that in and I'm starting behind my cut and I'm going to wrap that kind of loose there for a second I'm trying to keep this hair up on top of the hook I don't want it to roll around the hook too much and every time you come forward be sure and think about building that tapered head okay I'm gonna cut this about five inches so it's like two and a half times the length of the hook set my white aside so we've got our weight base down the next step is I've got just a little, little fragment here but this is red silky fibers EP fiber uh, not EP fiber but EP silky fiber and that's going to be my gill folding that across the thread and I'm going to lay that right down on top of what I've done already and come in here and trim this just a little bit by the way this King Calon gets all over everything it seems to travel you can find it for days after you're done working with it the next thing is a piece of this this uh, braided uh, mylar tubing uh, mylar flash whatever um, this is a size large you could downsize to the medium um, you need to pull the string out of this a little bit and I'm gonna lay that right in on top of what we've already tied in and again think about your taper so I hang it over a little bit so I can come forward I'm still trying to build a head so I'm trying to get it get that to taper up nicely and you want to cut this off and don't pull on it when you when you cut it I want it about the same length as my bottom so I'm going to come in here with my scissors and cut it right there now we don't want to unravel this yet I want to lay in my color first and the color in this instance is some light olive King Callan. By the way, King Callan, I've seen a website that has over 180 different colors of this stuff. You can find find virtually any color that you want. Chartreuse is not a problem. Um, some of the hot hot colors are good. There's about oh probably four or five different colors of white. Um, anyway I'm gonna lay that in again thinking about my taper right on top of what we've already done and I'm gonna thread down forward we're trying to smooth the head out you know as you're building and I'm gonna cut that to length Now a lot of the basics are done on this fly right now. The next part is really just building your head up and I want to try and get it kind of thick here back at the back so I can stick an eyeball on it. I'm just gonna keep threading right up here get kind of a bulb and then I'm going to start tapering down and the way to do that is just keep working the areas 
where it looks a little skinny. And just keep working forward. Takes a lot of thread. I'm pretty pleased with it as it sits. You can see the basic shape. I'm going to whip finish this. Go ahead and cut it off. Okay, I'm going to use some yellow. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be yellow, but uh, some quarter inch uh, 2D eyes. I'm going to stick a couple of the eyeballs on it. Get my uh, bodkin out to help me out. Kind of mash them on a little bit. Now, this is uh, UV epoxy I'm laying on top. I'm just going to stick it over the eyeballs. I'm going to brush just a little bit on right where the eyeballs are to kind of hold them in place for a minute while I'm working on uh, building a good proper head and I'm going to hit with my light kind of helps stick them on for just a second now I can put another layer of UV epoxy over the whole shoot and match. Um, if you do it and try to do it in one step, a lot of times the eyeball wants to uh, slide away. It's fairly strong, but because I have such a big area to cover, it's going to take a couple of sessions of uh, light to make sure that everything is set correctly. Okay, the very last step for me is I'm using Loon Hardhead. This is a water-based epoxy or water-based uh, water uh, polyester. Um, I've thinned this just a little bit. It's to take that tack out of the uh, old school 
UV epoxies tend to leave a little bit of a tacky finish and this is just my final coat to make sure that I don't stick to the fly okay it's going to take a few minutes for the polyester to dry but you can see you know this is a pretty much a done fly now the last step is use your bodkin and get in here and start near the end and pick this body or the uh, mylar tubing out and don't go too far down just pick it out a little at a time and you can see there is your completed ballyhoo fly pretty simple stuff and an interesting use for that hair anyway there will be more details about the hair on the uh, at the end. Thanks so much. See you again.